What's up guys, Triple C here. So Rockstar just released a trailer that the Cunning Stunts update will be released on July the 12th. So next week it'll be released. As expected, it's gonna be massive as you see in the trailer. There's these massive tubes which we saw before. We're gonna have uh, massive um, like speed boosts you can get in tubes and, uh, and loops and jumps. We're gonna get jumps. <laughs> okay, now just quickly to um, bring everybody back down to earth. Um, I'm not hyped about this update. I was never hyped about any update because there's obviously a lot of up, uh, hype being created by Rockstar, especially with heist back then. And um, t t I think a lot of the hype that was created about anything often didn't live up to its expectations. Uh, now it's really gotten to a point with all the YouTubers that they don't really even have to market or hype anything anymore. The YouTubers do that for them, you know, so they just have to release anything and the YouTubers will just hype the people crazy about it. And I mean, to be honest, this looks massive and big. And don't get me wrong, I don't want to badmouth this or shit talk this, but just looking at it from a pure stunt racer's perspective, um, this is like a new game mode, basically. It looks a bit more like games like Trackmania or something. Uh, it's completely something different than we have been doing with the um, stunt racing community, the kinds of stunts we're building, the intricacy of the stunts and how it evolved basically to where we are now, how we started with just simple ramps, then we learned reverse building and how it evolved into the real intricate and complicated stunts that are being built nowadays. This is something completely different. This is, um, in first instance, uh, what I see here, it will definitely appeal to a broader audience. I can only hope that non-contact will be available in this game mode because it. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if you can only play this on contact. Um, so yeah, this will definitely have a great appeal. Those pins there, for example, I don't need them. Like, I don't see the point of running through some pins. Um, this, I mean, this can definitely be really fun, you know, because it's just something completely new. Um, I don't see this as basically a next step from the stunning we're at now, but as something completely new. So that's also how I'm just going to look at it. Um, I definitely be, still be building my stunts like I used to build them, and I hope the creators, the good creators, will definitely also continue doing that. Because I got a suspicion that this kind of stuff might also get quite boring quick. I mean, how often can you drive through a tube? I mean, it looks really fun in first instance, but um, might be a bit overhyped. But at the same time, like also really fun stuff may also come out of this. You know, like. Me, for example, I don't look at the big jump they're showing in there or the, the loop. I mean, we built loops and spirals with barges and different props before also. Um, you know, I'm think I'm immediately thinking of like taking the tube and doing a wow ride on the outside of it. Or like there, as you see with those roads, they have like a base they stand on and using that one. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see like um, how, how, they, how they basically implement this whole thing. If it will be a new game mode, which uh, would make really much sense in my, in my eyes. If you can combine these with the regular props we have in the creator, uh, one really important thing, um, which you definitely have to have a concern about is will they completely fuck everything up again? Sorry, I don't want to be negative, but it just happened so often. The content creator was crippled before we couldn't create anymore always stuff gets broken you know so i just hope that this will not break anything major and that it will just really be a nice addition because um, definitely creative stuff can come out of this but there's also definitely a lot of stuff that just appeals to a broad audience, you know? It's massive, it's big, it's got explosions, you can drive through pins, there's like windmill turbines in the tubes which knock you over. All stuff that like the, the serious racers on this game would consider as trolling actually, you know? So uh, definitely... Um, We'll have to see what it brings, you know. Um, it will definitely be something that will keep everybody busy in the beginning because obviously it's new and we all want to experiment with it. But at the same time, um, um, we got to also see what props we get, you know, like how many props we can place if there's still a limit or if like one of those roads, you can maybe just stretch it and make it like as long as you want and still only use up one prop. This is all stuff we got to see. And basically, if there's some smaller props in there also, so we can build like flips and transitions, that would be really nice also. So we can use this to build some really cool stuff and not just generic uh, tubes that go around Maze Bank, which will happen a lot 
and also like a lot of people will be building those people that are new to creating that don't know basic techniques which is okay you know like everybody starts at some point not everybody's at the same skill level and obviously um, um, like a lot of new talent might also come out of this but um, there's just a lot of stuff that um, new age creators don't really know yet with reverse building and stuff so um, once everybody gets the opportunity to place down preset stunts, um, definitely also a lot of um, low quality stuff will hit, this, will hit the game. You know, people just placing down random spiral loops everywhere and random big jumps, checkpoints that don't make any sense and stuff like that. So that will definitely be an issue. And I mean, it's okay, you know, but the thing is just uh, what was also my concern with the previous creator update uh, when I said once it gets easy to do, it's um it, it basically all the good quality creations lose their appeal because they used to be something very special because not a lot of people were able to do this um so they were very exclusive and now that it's easy to do just uh, such a massive amount of stuff gets released daily that people don't really worship it anymore like they used to it's just become so normal that it's just part of uh, everyday process now and um people have accused me before uh, with the last creator update that they said oh you're just uh, because you put so much work in before you guys and now you're just jealous that anybody can do it that's not what it is it's just um, the concern that the races in general will lose their appeal because um, it won't be exclusive anymore you know like uh, place down a few of these tubes everybody tries it out in the creator like uh, it will get boring after a week um, but like I said before, there are a lot of creative heads on this game. So in terms of stunning, there's definitely much more behind this than you see in the trailer. Not just driving in the tube, but actually just um, building new kinds of stuff with it. Um, may maybe like as, as an example, as I said, driving on the outside of the tube and stuff like that. You know, just tilting the props the other way and just uh, um, really making something new out of it. So definitely, um, we'll see what it brings. Like, I don't want to be uh, overly positive or negative towards this, you know, like I, every update I viewed very sober and neutral, you know, I never let them hype me or, or, or I never get hyped by it, you know, I just take it for what it is when it hits the scene, I'll see what it is. Might be that I think it's the coolest thing ever, I, I got my doubts there though, and might be that I'm not really amazed by it, might also be that it's interesting in the first couple of weeks maybe, and then it just all falls back to what it was before, to regular stunt race. Racing. We'll, we'll see what happens you know one thing also I was talking about this with a few people also you might see in one of my previous videos um, they're obviously working with gimmicks here you know and also they announced stunt ready vehicles like um, people asked me what I think that might mean and I immediately said it's gimmicks you know it's that the car can just pull a smoke trail and whatever and that's probably what we're gonna get you know because that stuff really appeals to people so yeah, I'm not the guy that's like, oh my god, guys, we are gonna be able to drive through tubes. Oh my god, this is the coolest thing ever. And I'm also not the guy that's like, nah, I don't like it because we used to do something else before. We'll just see what it is when it when it hits the when it hits the game. It might be really fun, uh, and, but like I, I, this would really make a lot of sense if it were a new game mode. If this gets combined with the regular creator, I'm not too sure if that would. Be be the greatest idea but um it, it might also you know you just gotta play around with it and see what happens uh definitely cool if what would be cool if we could use it in the regular creator if it was not a separate game mode these roads for example because we work with barges now and we are limited to 100 props so if you could actually just use one road and put, stretch it really long and not waste a lot of props on it that would definitely be very very cool and a nice addition on the other hand i mean this looks like i said before like games like track mania it's something completely different it doesn't have anything to do with the intricacy of the stunts we had uh, before um, like with all the flips um, and and spirals and intricate dummy proofing um, there's no dummy proofing here involved or guidance props this is more just like big explosions sexy loop stuff 
So yeah, let me quickly sum up what we all saw here in the video and give you my personal opinion on this. Huge sky jumps, uh, totally uninteresting for me and also for the whole uh, stunning community. Uh, probably appealing to a lot of uh, players who are not really into stunt racing that deep, but just having like a big sky jump. We had that before with barges. Uh, it's pretty stupid actually if you're really serious about stunt racing. So that's not appealing to me. The tubes are very interesting definitely, especially if you can come combine it with other stuff some really nice stuff may come out of this you know we can get some real intricate um putting them together making like all kinds of stuff i also, like i said driving on the side of them stuff like that uh, so the tubes definitely cool daredevil loops uh yeah sorry but um we had that before if they're preset props uh i really see it with a grain of salt you know i think um, the the option they gave us to make templates made very much sense but just uh, putting predefined loops in there um, really shouldn't do that. I, I don't see the, the the advantage we get from that. I actually see it as a disadvantage because a lot of low quality stuff will hit the game. Um, um, insane jumps, what they propagated there. Um, same as the huge sky jumps in the beginning. Um, totally uninteresting for me. Um, I, I don't need to jump down the map for two minutes uh, with two minutes airtime. Not interesting at all. Um, those roads that you land on that you see right there now, actually pretty interesting what you can also what you can all do with it maybe drive on the side on the base of it um how it, how it is when you flip it over can we even flip them over that's definitely interesting very interesting prop um then um the last one we saw in the video are the pins um to the pins i gotta say um utterly retarded and probably fun for stupid people to drive through pins but not appealing for stunt racers <laughs> oh yeah one more thing we had the turbines in the tube uh, also so utterly retarded and fun for stupid people probably to drive through a tube and randomly be knocked off and be exploded by some turbine in the tube there um, but yeah that's just from the pictures I saw in here uh, the real interesting question for me is what are all the creative creators all those creators creative heads gonna figure out with this which goes way far beyond this what we see in this video and that will be very interesting to see there's a lot of potential there probably might be some stuff that they didn't show in the video yet so definitely it'll be interesting and uh, like I said like I'm always very neutral and very sober with this kind of stuff I'll see it when it hits the game and we'll see what it brings so yeah hope you guys enjoyed it uh, check you guys in the next video I'm out peace